Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to get out and then glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shem, Bashem, with Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone rule, where it been a great up to the younger brothers in the truth, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, and Lord willing, it's edifying. And this just a, should be a quick lesson, you know. Hey, going in again, I'm pretty sure I did this before. Is we got to put on as the elect, man. You know, because as we see, man, you got <laughs> teachers and so-called Israelite leaders who've been in this thing for, you know, years on top of years on top of years telling people to get vaccines, you know. But us in the know, you know, from start with our elders and apostles on down to the youngest brother, you know, you know damn well that, that, that ain't in the scriptures, man. You know, that's not in the scriptures to, um, do that but we gonna continue to put on on this i'm gonna get the scripture this Colossians chapter 3 and verse 12 put on therefore as the elect of yahweh by hashem yahweh shai holy and beloved bowels of mercy kindness humbleness humbleness of mind meekness long suffering forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man if any man have a quarrel against thee, Let's see what that word quarrel mean? Cause I don't know. Quarrel. Blame to have a complaint against one another. Oh, uh, if any man, so basically put aside to, you know, if you got something going on with a brother, you know, quarrel. Back in verse 13, for forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against thee, you know, you have a problem with a brother who like-minded, you know, who believe in the same doctrine you believe in. Even as Hamashiach forgave you, so also do ye, you know, so we got to forgive one another, you know. And above all these things, put on charity you know, um, when it's time to fellowship, fellowship, you know, a brother call you at with a question or just need to talk, you know, or whatever, you know, you, you talk to them and you give them good advice, you know, charity, you know. It ain't always got to be giving a, a homeless person money, you know, if a brother need help, you know, on a bill or, or whatever it is and you got it, you know, show charity, man, you know. If a brother needs somewhere to stay. And you can help him out or need something to eat, you know. A brother in his fate, first and foremost. Damn anybody who in the world, man. You know. Um, it say, and above all these things, put on charity, which is the bold, which is the bond of perfectness, and let and let the peace of Yahweh rule in your hearts, your minds, to the which also ye are called in one body, one body, you know, one um, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Hamashiach dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in songs, and this ain't talking about make a rap video, and hymns and spiritual song, you know, and the, the song that we sing to one another is the doctrine, man. You know, the different <laughs> lessons we put up, we sing to one another, man. You know, we sing songs first and foremost to you, how about you, how was that? And when a brother watch a video or listen, you know, you sing it to them, man. Um, It's a singing with grace in your hearts. To Yahweh, um, to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Giving thanks to Yahweh and giving thanks to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, giving thanks to Yahweh Shai and Yahweh. Um, 
and Yahweh by him. I guess I'm saying that right. I read it on Barbados. It say, and ye do, verse 17, and whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to God and the Father by him. And that's pretty much it on Colossians. You know, so we got to put on as 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 the um, elect, man. You know, and what's the best way to see how to put on as the elect? First and foremost, <laughs> hey, man, you got to go to the scriptures. You know, you got to read, you know. You got to go into the scriptures, man. That's the only way you're going to know how to put how 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 to put on as the elect. You got all these books. You got Matthew. You got Mark. You got Luke. You got John. You got the Acts of the Apostles. You got Peter. <laughs> you you got uh, both Johns, Jude, Revelations. Well, that's John too. So I can. You got um all these books that's in the Bible, man. You know, that's what you got to go by, man. You know, this is our guide, man. This 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 um book gonna lead us into salvation, man. You know. It ain't about what a, you know, they quick to say GMS, oh, they man pleaser. They just follow the apostle to heart. But shit, the apostle to heart tell us to look stuff up for ourselves, to read for ourselves, to study for ourselves. The scriptures even tell you that. Study to show thyself approved, man. A workman that that not be ashamed, roughly paraphrasing, man. You know, we got to be like the church of, um, man, dang, so like what that church, be like the church of, um, It's right on my tongue. They say these are that more noble than those of Thessalonica. Got to be like the church of, uh, it's right on my tongue. Salaki, the church of. How I forget that church? I know exactly what I, I don't even know the name. If it comes to me, I say it. On oh, this Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. Um, it say, Thus said of Yahweh, Stand ye in the way, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. Yeah, two thirds of our people, they ain't gonna walk. They ain't gonna walk in the old paths, man. You know? They ain't gonna. Walking the old paths to the, at least to the best of their ability, they gonna do their own thing, man. You know, and that's what that's the problem with our people. They stiff neck, they hard hard. They don't listen, man. You know, Lord say, stand in the way, walk you in the old paths. But let me get something in the root. And the old paths is these scriptures, man. Coming back to your um nationality, law, statutes, and command, law, statutes, and commandments. Coming back into your heritage. This Baruch chapter 4, and I'm going to start at verse 1. This book of the commandment of Yahweh and the law that endure forever, all that keep it shall come so all that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Take hold of what? <laughs> the book of the commandments, man. The law, statutes, commandments. Our forefathers, the ways of our, our of the Israelites, our forefathers, you know, we got to come back to that, man, you know, first and foremost, the words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because, hey, this is our God. Verse 2, it says, turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it, walk in the presence of the light. There, uh, walk in the presence of the light there, thereof that thou mayest be illuminated you know so you gotta walk in the presence of the light in these scriptures follow the scriptures man. you know if you got a question about doing something follow the scriptures check the law you know pray fast on it you know that's what that's what we gotta do um, 
them, I got another one that I ain't write down. This Proverbs 6 and 6 and 20, I ain't gonna do this in a minute. Oh, I can get it in a blue little. Let me get it right here. I know it's six Proverbs chapter six and verse, I don't know what it's 16. Proverbs six and four. There you go. 23. So like Proverbs 6 and 23. For the com for the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs and instructions are the way of life. You know? <laughs> and this book is full of commandments, you know, the laws, and different reproofs and instructions to, to guide us to the kingdom, man. You know, that's all, that's all we need. We don't need... Um, uh, no vaccine, you know, we don't need no damn microchip. We don't need no damn job. We don't need none of these things. We got to have faith in how about show me how shy, you know. But, hey, man, the scripture tell you, blessed is he who readeth, man. So you got to pick the, the book up and read it, man. Let me see what it said. I know it's in Revelation 1, and I want to say 3. There's Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and that keepeth the... Keepeth... So like, blessed is he that readeth, <coughs> and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand, you know, because, hey, the time is at hand, man. You know, so, hey, man, if you not working, or you, you know, you got free time, man, read, man. You know, study, go into the scriptures, you know, when you, you know, exercise, do stuff to build your spirit up fast, man. Pray, you know. You know, you, you, know you ain't going to study the whole time, you know, figure out, you know, just get your mind right. Because we in that time, man, shit finna get real. And you know you got these false leaders. All these, you know, stuff. Even in Israel and all these other Negroes, man, coming up, probably about some, you know, all on the news, talking about they, that we the face of the the COVID nineteen now. It went from Gooks to Jakes, man. You know, Moab to to Yashala, man. You know, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, y'all ain't exempt. Y'all, hey, right up there with the Negroes, man. That's what they say, man. You the face of COVID-19, now you the problem, man. You know, we're going to have to vac vaccinate them niggas, man. Um... Uh, but, hey, at the end of the day, that's what we got to do, man. You know, this uh, First Timothy chapter, oh, I'm in the wrong thing. It's First Timothy chapter 4 and verse 13. It reads, till I come give attendance to reading. You know, hey, the scripture, hey, till I come give attendance to reading. You know, walking in the old path, you know. That's how you going to figure out what the old past was by reading these scriptures, man. You know, we got the, we got the book. We got the, the Bible and the Apocrypha, man. This go all the way back to the beginning, man. You know? So we have the old past. Until I come give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. It ain't say doctrine, it's say doctrine, you know, so it's one doctrine that we give attendance to, man. You know, everybody ain't gonna have different doctrines. It is one doctrine in the Lord, man. You know, ain't no 35 different doctrines. 
everybody teaching something different, man. The Lord have one doctor and one camp got the 100% truth, man. Verse 14, neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy. What's the gift that's in thee, man? Faith, man. With the laying on the hands of the presbytery, and it's going into the elders, man. You know, our apostles and elders, they ain't literally touch us, but they ain't through the spirit, uh, through the video epistles, man, they touched us, man. You know, they, they laid their hands on us, man. Verse 15, Medi meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly unto them, that they, that, that thy profiting may appear to all. You know, so we got to meditate on these things, man. You know, that our profiting may appear to all. You know, um, one more down. It say, "Take heed unto thy, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee." You know, so we got to do these things because we, we not only save, we're gonna. Of course, we we working out our own salvation with fear and trembling. But hey, man, we we what the Lord say? What the Lord told Peter? Feed my sheep, feed my lamb. I mean, feed my sheep, feed my sheep, feed my lambs, man. You know, if you love me, you know, get them the rivers of living water, man. You know, because it's gonna be more than a hundred forty-four thousand. Um, it's gonna be more than a hundred four thousand. Uh, Israelites gonna be saved, man. You know, it's secret disciples out there, people that watch and, and you know who are gonna be saved and believe, man. But it's gonna be up to the Lord to have mercy on them at the end of the day. But it said, meditate upon these things. Meditate upon what? The doctrine, man. These scriptures, man. <laughs> the old pests, man. The law, statute, commandments, man. You know. Meditate on it. Go to Joshua. Joshua said meditate on it too, man. This Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. This is the book of the law. This is the book of the law. So like this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy um, way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. You know, so we got to meditate on these words, man. Meditate on this truth, man, this doctrine, you know. And give attendance to it, man, until Yahweh Shai come and deliver us, man. You know, because we coming, we most definitely in that time, man. You know, you can't, you, uh, America can't go back to how it was, man. After this, you know, it's always for this bitch, man. And these damn people, man. Two thirds of our people gonna get cut off and die, and the rest of these heathen, they gonna die. And gonna be born in fucking chains, man. Big ass gold chain. Well, nah, we ain't gonna put no gold on their neck. Big ass iron shackle on their neck, you know. Hey, man, if any, hey, it's over for you heathen, man. But that's pretty much it. That's all I got. I can get this on meditate. Because it also said meditating song. Let's see. Psalms chapter 1 and verse 2. I start at 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Man, get, get away from these people. Get out these motherfuckers away, man. You know, use the word, but don't abuse the word. Nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of Yahweh, and in his law doeth he meditate 
day and night. You know, and that's what we do, man. We, you know, us putting on as the hopefully lick, Lord willing, we are the lick, you know. We, we meditate on these things, man, you know. We meditate on doing what the Lord want us to do to the best of our ability. We do these things, man, because we want to be delivered, man. We fear the Lord first and foremost, man, you know. And the Lord say, um... Uh, the, the righteous run into the name and, and are safe, man. So that's what we doing, man. We meditating on the tears that the Lord done in the Bible, the old in the old days and old times. You know, hey, we fear the Lord, man. But he gonna do, he gonna protect this, man, and destroy two thirds of our people who will not hearken, man. Who didn't want to put on as the elect, who don't care, man. Who doing? You know, who really following after man, you know, and not following after words that the Lord gave us. Uh, uh, not following after after the word, man. People call us man pleasers and this and that. But shit, we following after words of you how about shame, how shy. You got to follow man, man. You know, in order to be a leader, you got to become a follower, man. To learn how to lead, man. Ain't nobody just born a, a leader, you know. You know, people born with leading tendencies, you know, have the, the attributes to become a good leader, but it, it, they gonna, first and foremost, they gotta follow somebody who, who uh, they first they gonna have to follow a great leader, man. You know, so they can know how it's done. You know? But that's pretty much it. With that, I wanna get all under glory to you. How will buy shame, how will shy buy shame, or cock a buy stuff on us to the apostles and elders, great millstone rule, well being the great example to the younger brothers and the truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful lick, Lord, when it's edifying to the next time I say shalom. Bible, Bible, corner, lick the yashalom. Shalom.